This right here is a photo of me in college. This was right around the time that I wrote my first feature length screenplay. Needless to say, it was not good, and we will not be discussing it in any further detail. Back then, when I had an idea for a movie, I would just open my 5 inch thick MacBook Pro and start typing away with no real plan or foresight where the movie was headed. I never wanted to outline anything, because in my 20 year old, natty light soaked brain, I thought that it would make my stories stiff and cliche to do an outline. I don't need structure or rules, I want my scripts to be original and fresh. Needless to say, this guy was not the best writer. It turns out that just winging it led to a lot of dead ends and screenplays that needed tons and tons of work in rewrites. Through much trial and error, I eventually started to warm to the idea of outlining stories more before I actually put pen to paper. I've found that as I've progressed as a writer, I've actually wanted more and more structure before I start a script. I really like knowing what's going to happen later in the story so that I can make more informed decisions about events earlier in the script. So this means that I pretty much always create an outline start to finish before I start writing anything. But the problem is that I've never found a totally satisfactory format for doing this. I've spent years and years trying virtually every outline format that you can possibly imagine. You've got Joseph Campbell's Hero's Journey. You've got the Save the Cat beat sheet. For a while I used Thomas Lennon and Robert Ben Garrett's structure from their book. You've got the classic Sid Field structure, etc, etc. There are a million different screenplay structures you can use, and I've probably tried them all. After a lot of experimentation, I've settled on two main tools for creating an outline that I use regularly. The first is this little worksheet that I use to chart a very broad overview of the major plot points. It's an amalgamation of a few different outlines that I've used over the years, which I've adapted and tailored to my liking. So I physically print this out and I start filling in the major events of the script. If you're Gen Z and you don't own a printer, you can go to the library or use your parents' printer or something. This visual tactile tool really helps me because I can see the broad shape of the plot at a single glance. I don't know what it is, but something about the way that I think and work, I need to be able to see the mile high shape of a story when I'm thinking about it. So if I can see what the big disaster is in Act 2 and how it fits into the entire arc, then I can better understand what we need to do in Act 1 in order to get our characters to that point. There's a link in the description for you to download this outline for free, and feel free to use it, adapt it, change it, whatever works for you. So once I've got the general shape of the story figured out, I like to go through and fill it in scene by scene so that I've got a list of everything that happens in our story. Again, over the years, I've used everything to try to do this. I've made just a bullet point list of scenes in Google Docs. I've made a kind of colored outline in Google Drawing with character breakdowns. I've made a more visual outline breakdown. I've also tried the old physical note cards on the wall move, which I actually really like, but I don't have a wall in my apartment that's big enough to fit an entire movie. I've also tried a ton of online note card apps. I'm not exaggerating when I say that I've probably tried a dozen, and I've never found one that I've liked. Until now. Just kidding, this isn't that kind of video. For most of the last year, I've been using a program called Millinote, which I think is maybe finally the tool that I've been searching for. It allows me to create note cards for each scene of my movie and link them all up. So if I want to move a card around, it all stays connected. It also perfectly caters to my OCD by allowing you to align, distribute, and organize your cards however you want. For me, outlines are all about organization and being able to see the big picture of a screenplay. So order and neatness are absolutely paramount. I am a total freak and Millinote is perfect for this. To be honest, I really only use the tip of the iceberg when it comes to functionality. You can get a lot more granular with your projects if you really want. So I'm shooting a movie right now and I'm using Millinote to organize everything. So when I shoot a scene, I can change the color of that card and I can quickly see what's still left to shoot, which is incredibly helpful and very satisfying. Millinote actually reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try it. And I had already been writing this video about outlining movies and how I use and love Millinote. And so I said, yes, they're not sponsoring this video. I'm genuinely just happy to share this tool that I've been searching for literally for my entire career. And if you want to use the code below, you can sign up and use Millinote for free yourself. After writing many, many screenplays, I've come to realize that my initial fear that I had that outlines would somehow make my scripts formulaic or wooden was ridiculous. I've come to view the writing process as going on a road trip. By outlining, 
You decide that you want to start in New York, drive through Cleveland and Denver, and then end up in Los Angeles. You know what the big destinations are, so you can head in the right direction. But in between, you can go whichever route you want. You can make spur-of-the-moment detours and stop and see things along the way. Making outlines for my scripts saves me a ton of time and frustration. I've also got an obsessive and extensive system for taking notes for movies, which I'll go into in a separate video. But between that and my detailed outline, the actual writing process for me usually goes really quickly. There's nothing worse than spending lots of time starting a screenplay and then getting 25 pages in and realizing that you don't know where to go, or even worse, realizing that your idea maybe doesn't have the juice to be a feature-length film. Filmmaking is a perpetually iterative process, and I'm always looking for new ways to do things. So let me know in the comments if you've got any tools or other ways that you like to outline movies that you would like to share. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you found it helpful, and I hope that you have a great day.